every day we are met with just large amounts of little personal challenges and opportunities to grow and a lot of the times those are facilitated by little annoyances that you encounter where you are given the opportunity to either grow and and not let it affect you or you can let it tear you down and cause a negative mindset and just a negative situation where there wouldn't need to be one and I think it's really important to constantly work towards not letting little things bug you and uh, I know that's something that I've struggled with um, especially if I'm hungry or if I'm tired uh, this this particular workout um, 520 moved well but it felt heavier than I wanted it to just because I've been squatting so much and that's just how how things go when you're doing something like this program where you're constantly pushing yourself um, you can't you're more susceptible to to reacting to little annoyances and things that normally you'd be fine with but you're just pushing yourself so hard and you're so beat down that little things can get to you a little bit more and a uh, personal challenge for myself um, this is actually going to be day number 18 in my betterment challenge I'm on 17 right now and it's going to be just to, to shrug off the little things and not to let small annoyances become issues and become something that affects you because you have control over that you have control over how you feel and uh, it's your responsibility to to get past the point of that and to and to be in control of your attitude because you do have full control of it it's you know you might be in a bad mood but if you can recognize that and work towards approaching it better you can pull yourself out of that bad mood and I think that's something that a lot of people kind of shrug off and they say oh that's just how I'm feeling or I'm just really stressed and they make excuses for why they're feeling a certain way and that's nice and all but it doesn't really excuse the way you interact with other people and uh, I noticed that with myself um, I get I get frustrated when I'm when I'm angry I get frustrated with myself when I'm frustrated and it kind of just builds on itself and I feel like whenever I make the decision then to let things go I just feel better and I think that's what everyone should really kind of work towards is the ability to control that that place that you're at and you'll be happier from it you'll be healthier from it and you will look to the world with a more po positive outlook and a more productive outlook you'll be better to the people around you so that's just really what I wanted to talk about today because it was on my mind um, the workout itself felt okay. I mean, 520 didn't feel as light as I wanted it to, but the reps were fast. I'm getting more and more proficient with the wrapping and getting better at consistently doing it well. The first couple of sets uh, took me a little bit of practice to get back into the groove, but things are going better. After those five sets of four, I moved over and I had uh, 315 on the bench, and I had I maintained, since this is my lighter bench day, I maintained my 60-second rest periods, and the benching actually went a lot better than it did uh, two workouts previous when I did this the first time with this weight so feeling pretty good about that um, part of that was because my knee wasn't hurting and so I was able to use a little bit more leg drive and uh, do my foot torque that I that I like to do to keep my uh, body a little bit tighter and overall the session was good and I learned some things about myself and that's all you can ever really ask for so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video please leave a like rating share it with your friends if you learned something uh, subscribe if you have not would love to have more brothers and sisters along with the grind as always this is a positive place where you can come and we're supportive of each other and just want to change the world one <laughs> one good attitude at a time so thank you guys again for watching I'll be back in on Tuesday when I get the second week going of this intense phase. So thanks again, and I will talk to you then. Bye.